Well, now to the mystery involving the death of 28-year-old Brent Hartman. His family wants to know what happened. Someone found him back on October 29th, unconscious, behind a tattoo parlor off Route 17 in Gloucester. Then at your side's Andy Fox. Talk with his parents. My son had his demons. He was in drug rehab. He had problems. This is Brent Hartman's father. On the 29th of October, his unconscious body was found in this backyard here. He would do anything for anybody, but he had demons. He was just that big, lovable guy. He was a big mama's boy. And if anybody knew Brent, they would tell you the same thing. Stacy Hartman last saw her son Brent October 29th at the local Food Lion. I checked out. Um, Brent said that he was going to go smoke a cigarette. And I never seen him again. He took off. Gone. An investigator has traced Brent's travels that day to Patrick Henry Mall, where in this picture he was the day before. That night, news was at the door. We had a couple of sheriffs show up at our house who uh, informed us that our son had been found in Gloucester and that he was deceased. Earlier that evening, 745, an untraceable 911 call reported an unconscious man behind 138 tattoo on George Washington Memorial Highway. It was Brent. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. I think someone panicked that Brent was with them. Something happened and they just panicked. Scared for themselves or, or scared to be in trouble and they dumped my son's body here in this parking lot and quite possibly why he was still alive. The Hartmans will give you $10,000 if you can tell them who Brent was with when his body was left at 138 Tattoo. I would like you to understand not knowing what happened to my son in the last two hours of his life will haunt me forever. I would ask that maybe you look inside yourself, bring yourself to the point that you can come forward and give us the answers we need. It is so simple. The Hartmans, all they want is to find out what happened to their son. If you have any information, regardless of whether you think it's important or not, go online to wavy.com. We have a link of where you can go to send that information to help investigators figure out this mystery. In Gloucester County, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.